sure when we come into being that heaven um, where all present, all uh, knowing, but not all powerful. So the question is, what is human in reference to heaven? Now, first of all, human beings are observers of dogs and cats. They're all observers, but human beings' observation is more penetrating, more comprehensive. So the first understanding of being human is we have the ability to know in a more comprehensive way. Human beings are observers. And then human beings are also appreciators. We appreciate what has been created. We appreciate what has come in front of us. We appreciate nature. We appreciate uh, not only the natural world, but uh, culture and the human constructions. We are appreciators. So we're not simply observing something from the outside. We take joy in observing. So there's emotional investment in our observing. So human beings are appreciators. A more difficult notion, I think, in comparative uh, study is that uh, human beings are also participants. Human beings actually participate in the cosmic process. <coughs> uh, let, let me give you one quote, my favorite quote in the centrality commonality, and I will explain. Otherwise, it may sound a little bit romantic, unrealistic. Only those who are the most sincere, meaning most authentic to their being human, only those who are the most authentic, most sincere, most, the truest, will be able to fully realize their own nature. If they can fully realize their own nature, they can then fully realize the nature of being human. If, if they can realize the nature of being human, then they can realize the nature of things. If, can, if they can realize the nature of things, then they can take part in the transformative and nourishing process of heaven and earth. If they can take part in the transforming and nourishing process of heaven and earth, then they can form a trinity with heaven and earth. So you have this uh, confusion idea of trinity, heaven on top, earth below, and human in the middle. Human being can play certain kind of mediating role in linking heaven and earth. So human beings from this statement are not simply observers and appreciators of uh, the cosmic process, they are participants. Well, now we know, but uh, for very negative consequences. Well, we are no longer the results of evolution, <coughs> we also take part in the evolution and normally, we know that human beings can do a lot to uh, minerals, to uh, soil and water. Now we know we can do a lot to air, heaven, uh, I mean weather as well. So human beings now participators in the process totally in a negative sense. And in the classical Confucian traditions that human beings are participants. Participants in the sense that heaven creates, but human beings complete. So the creativity of heaven eventually will be translated into human constructed culture. All these cultures are not simply man-made. They have, of course they're man-made, but they have cosmological significance. So we create culture just like heaven or the cosmic process create nature. You have a question? Yes. Um, so what, what do you mean by authentic? Is that going True. back to... Uh, you know, the rightly. idea of, sin of sincerity having this yes. big meaning. Yeah. Um, now, authentic, right. You know, you, we have a few words. Uh, real, true, authentic. Mm -hmm. And the word sincere in the, uh, in the Chinese context, in this context, really means um, all of them. Normally, we have the word sincere, which is uh, a moral concept. This guy is sincere, but you cannot... Uh, uh, is it possible to see it can be a sincere thief, a sincere traitor, or a sincere crook? Can you say that or not? It's awkward. Yes. Awkward. Mm -hmm. But in Chinese you cannot. Because if you're sincere, then there's something very weighty. There's a, a true manifestation of your humanity. So you cannot be a sincere thief or a sincere robber. That's very difficult to say. Anyway, but sincere is not a very weighty word in English. This guy being sincere, maybe this guy can be a little bit uh, you know, 
easy to be fooled or something of that nature. But the word sincere linked to true, to real, and to authentic. As it's a really someone who is truthful to himself or herself. Someone who is able to realize one's um, true humanity. So this goes back to self-cultivation? Do you absolutely, have to be? Absolutely. Okay, so mm-hmm. in, when you cultivate yourself, you can become more sincere. Uh, you know, uh, let's, let's put it a different way. Um, mm-hmm. Learning is for the sake of uh, the self, so learning to be human. We are all human beings. So that learning is to be better human beings. You can see to be more fully human. So this notion about realizing the potential, maybe moral, maybe aesthetic, other kind of potential, so we will be able to, human beings are evolving beings. Uh, the dog may have to learn to, to play a few tricks, but basically conditioned by forces from the outside, by human. But human beings' self-realization, at least from a Confucian point of view, is a process of uh, the unfolding of one's own inner morality, or one's inner humanity. So the most sincere person is the most authentic, most real, and the most truthful person in our idea of what human being ought to be. You know, in the uh, principle of the rectification of names, the father should act like a father, the ruler as a ruler. So the first one is uh, a realistic description of what a person is. The second one is what a person ideally should be or ought to become. You know, so one of the uh, one of the interesting problems for for the Confucians is that I am not what I ought to be. That we all understand, but what I ought to be is rooted in the structure of what I am. I am. Now, normally you have this thinking, right? I am not what I ought to be. If I want to become what I ought to be, I have to deny these forces that shape me as a concrete person. I have to transcend them. Mm-hmm. But the Confucian way, as I've mentioned a few times, you don't transcend your ethnicity, your gender, or your, what I call, I call them up, your primordial ties. You transform them. You don't transcend them. You transform them into vehicles or into resources for self-realization. Now, in addition to being a participant, you...